I'm voting for Bernie Sanders, that is all. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. No, uh, for real. You know, the last time I endorsed, like, a president, I don't even, it's, it's ridiculous. An endorsement. What is that? Like, I'm just a regular person. Like, I, I get to give an endorsement? No, it's all fucking grandiose and pompous. Um, yo, but seriously, it's like saying, like, I checked it out. I, I looked at all the contenders, and uh, I picked that one. And so my endorsement uh, is going to be of Bernie Sanders, and you know I think he's the right guy for the job, and he's he's gonna he's gonna be the one to do it. So <clears throat> um, you have to get into why, because you can't just say, "Well, I'm going for this guy because uh, well, I like him" or some bullshit like that. Um, Bernie Sanders uh, is is a great guy. He's really an amazing guy. He, um, as far as what I know, he started his political career uh, around 50 years ago, around the civil rights movement, um, and he's uh, constantly, all that time, been you know fighting for workers' rights, fighting for women's rights, fighting for minorities rights which <laughs> you actually had to fight for back then which was crazy um and he's just been you know trying to do the right thing and um it seems like every other candidate uh on the republicans got without a doubt i mean it's just they they go for corporate america you know 100 percent. but even on the democratic side you got hillary clinton which is just she 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 seems like she's just gonna kind of do what corporate America wants, and uh, it's just so it's so <clears throat> the corporations just can't have everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they they want it, they want everything, and they uh, they're trying to take it. And all right, there's certain things like you can have like all right you're gonna have all the money you're the corporations you're the businesses you're gonna make all the money that's a given we can't do anything about that and nobody wants to like if you're the businesses and you're making all the money that's how it's supposed to be everybody agrees with that 100 percent that's capitalism it works fair market you know anybody can jump into the market sell buy do whatever they want do business that's America works great like that. That's fine. But you can't have our political process too. You can't come in and buy that. You can't buy all the politicians. No, don't do that. You can't fucking enslave the entire population and make them work harder for less. No, you can't you can't do that. That's not right. You can't fucking control our foreign policy. You can't make us invade countries and 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 do stuff for your whim. I mean, you've done it in the past. You, you know, it, it's really crazy how much, you know, it's been done. But it's got to stop. It's really got to stop. Um, you know, there's certain things about, you know, um, people's civil liberties and you know what they're allowed to do and, and what they're not allowed to do that's that shouldn't be decided by by corporations and, and what's best for business there's just that's just not how it's supposed to be you know and it's already been made up uh, you know a long time ago what you know how little you can pay somebody we have law we have a law of the land is there's a minimum wage now, um, it's too low. Like, people can't fucking live off that. You can't, you can't live off $200 a week. I'm sorry. You, you just can't. It's fucking impossible. You can't pay rent. You can't pay bills on $200 a week. What the fuck? And you're working 40. Uh, but it's too it's too hard man work is too hard and they've got this game rigged up where the harder you work 
the less you get paid. The easier your job gets, the higher your pay grade. And you say, how, why, how is this? The guy busting his hump is getting the least amount of money, and then the guy who works a little less hard, he gets a little bit more money, and it just goes up from there until you're just the guy that sits in his office all day and fucking jerks off and, and gets big bonuses at the end, just because you have the position. Uh, it's really fucking insane that it's like this. So that's why we need um, unions, and the only candidate that's fucking pro-union to any measure is Bernie Sanders. I mean, he's, I don't know, you know, he just agrees that shit, we're getting a raw deal, we're, getting, we're not getting our due as workers, and we just need, you know, we need our shit, we need fucking a decent amount of pay, we need fucking benefits, we need health care, like shit, people just want to live, we want socialism, oh, some people are scared of that, what is that, I don't know, well socialism is basically this, alright, who likes living in a shitty neighborhood? Ah, oh, that's a big fat n zero persons. Nobody does. Absolutely nobody does. Nobody is going, oh, I gotta move. Well, let me see. Let me try to find a shitty neighborhood to move into. Because it's, cause it's crappy. No, people are like, I want to live in the good neighborhood. Everybody wants to... Oh, it's good over there. I want to live there. Well, how about we make the whole fucking country a good neighborhood? Oh, that's a fucking genius idea. Oh, so you, what you're saying is, and, and if everybody is living good, then we all have a good neighborhood? Yeah, the whole fucking country. Hey, what, who, who, what genius thought of this? Is that like, or, <laughs> simple as that, all right? If everybody's living good, all our neighborhoods are good, all our schools are good, everybody's taken care of, there's not a big homeless problem, there's not a big drug problem sweeping the nation, there's not... Uh, it's just as simple as that. And, 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 you know, to argue that, you know, oh, there's not enough for everybody to have it, it's ridiculous. We have a fucking abundance of everything in this country. We could make this fucking place a good neighborhood from coast to coast. It's just a matter of, you know, making the right decisions. Uh, you know, if there's some greedy shitheads, you know, in charge and, and people that don't deserve what they got and are taken from the poor and given to the rich, there's, there's a lot of shitty stuff going on. And we got to we can't, you know, snap our fingers and make everything good overnight. But goddamn, we gotta put our pants on one leg at a time. Let's do the right thing here, people. All right.